Hello and welcome to another video. Sorry for the absolute potato cam. My cam link has broken, which means you have me on the absolutely amazing Logitech C9 Cheap Thousand. So before we get into it, the last time I did a strategy video was over a year ago. Now, my strategy is very similar. The only difference is I've taken a few concepts from other people. Um, I think ICT Trader came up with the concept of session high and lows playing off each other and that's pretty much the only thing i've added to it so this as i said the way i've kind of traded and i've the way i've I, I brought together my strategy myself is that i've just picked and choose pieces from other people's strategy again i'm not going to be saying i'm the the grand creator of all this i don't want you to think like that that's why i don't sell this or anything like that and even my discord community i'm not selling this strategy or anything i'm selling a community in there it's a different story altogether i'm selling actually help and support and lovely people anyway um so that's the only thing i've added is that we are essentially playing off of the session highs and lows and we're only uh, trading in a very specific time okay so i'm going to give you a set of rules i'm going to give you a set of indicators and we are going to go straight into it okay i'm also going to give you a set of back testing results on the exact strategy i've been using this strategy now since my last strategy video right after i did that video my problem my last video was it was very similar it was a sweep of liquidity high and low we enter in on a bounce of a supply and demand zone problem was is i could trade any time of the day like let's let's say if i'm looking at this right now i'd be like okay look this is liquidity when that bounces and it bounces off this demand i'm going to take a trade where i just found i was taking too many trades with it essentially that was the only difference so that it works perfectly fine but i was just taking too many trades this I take two to three trades per day. Again, I'm going to give you a full set of rules. So make sure you watch the whole thing or you're going to be super confused. Um, I'm going to give you a whole set of rules for you to follow. And if you follow these rules, I'm telling you, you're going to be profitable. You are going to be profitable. But if you don't follow the rules and you tr you're trading 15 other strategies at the same time, it's not going to work. And if you need more help, okay, knuckling this down or seeing me live trade, then you can join our Discord community. You don't have to join it, but what we're doing there is we're trading the strategy as a community live every single day. Okay, we're offering each other support, talking about trading psychology. Everything you like about me is inside there. Okay. If you like me. Um, so let's jump into the charts. And again, as I said, go over exactly what I'm talking about. So again, we are looking for previous session high and lows to be taken out. I don't know why that alert, alert is there. Um, previous session high and lows to be taken out. And then we are entering in a trade on the same entry criteria I've been using since last year. A break of a small consolidation after a liquidity grab. You can call it a, bro a structure break. Um, a market structure change. A ch I don't even think it's a chalk because isn't that like very. Anyway, I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like. So let's just go on to your USD and see what we're talking about. So this market session sessions indicator does all the heavy lifting for us. If I turn this on, it marks out the highs and lows of both sessions, or the 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 Asian session and the London session. So we have three sessions. We have the London session. We have the New York session. We have the Asian session. Whatever session you're in, you play off the highs and lows of the previous session. So if you're on London session, you look for the high and low, the ultimate high and the ultimate low of that session. You wait for it to be broken and you enter a trade and you try to play the range. OK, if you're in New York session, you wait for London highs or London lows to be taken and then you play the range as well. And that is it. At the end of this, I'll go into things like daily bias and a few extras, and we'll talk about that. But that is ultimately the strategy. It is very simple. It is very basic, and I've been using it for so long now. There is a one-minute style entry as well. I don't use that at the moment. Inside my Discord community, there are a few people that like trading the one-minute. I prefer not to. The one-minute can give sniper entries and higher RR but it just stresses me out more. I prefer it to be easier. So I use the five minute. I get a little bit less RR, but I'm happy with that. So I'll explain it to you now. So what are the actual rules? Okay. Again, we need the previous session high and lows to be taken out and then we enter a trade. But you're probably saying, what are these sessions? When are these sessions? Okay. So if you open up this indicator, market session indicator, we can see here is my settings. So now I'm on uh, London time, English time, Irish time. Well, I'm from Ireland, so Irish time. Uh, GMT plus one. You might have to rejig this and convert it to your time frame. Um, so Asian session is from uh, 12 p.m. to 8 a.m. in the morning. Okay. Turn that on. Label it Asian. That's my time frame. 
convert it if you need to. London session, 8 a.m. So when London se uh, Asian session closes and to one o'clock, we don't do half two for uh, when the indices open simply because we want to take a trade in the stock market pre-market. So then when the stock market opens, it will hopefully give us that extra bit of juice and kick to bring us in the direction we actually want. So one o'clock is where we stop um, with that one. Now, there is a bit of a disclaimer here. If you are trading indices, okay, if you're an indice only trader, you just need, you will need to change this three o'clock, or sorry, this one o'clock to half two, which is the stock market open, okay? So you can see, see the way the highs just change there. So if you trade strictly indices, you need to put it to half two. If you're trading gold, oil, forex pairs, you bring it back to one o'clock, okay? Disclaimer there. If you're an indices trader, that's the only thing you need to tra tra um, change, just the time. That will change the highs and lows. Simple, okay? You can see here, okay, we're on a Forex pair. And watch what happens when I bring it forward, like I just said. So if I bring that forward from one o'clock to this, you can see here the move already happened. Do you see what I'm, see what I'm saying? Same here as well, okay? It came down, it broke the highs. Half of the move already happened. And then it came down, broke the lows again. But watch what happens now when we bring it forward. Again, this is four X pairs. Bring it forward to one o'clock. Break the lows. We get a reversal. So if we just quickly go back and just look at the concept, okay? So we have the times. Asian session, high and low. London session, high and low. These are the settings. If we go down to the bottom, we can see the box style. Sandwich. One line set up. Two thickness. 100% transparency. Okay, that is pretty much all I use. Um, I don't use the box. I don't need the box. Um, box basically puts lines here, here. Okay, so let's just look at it. And what do we notice? Asian session range. We broke the Asian session high. We broke the Asian session low. We consolidated. What happens in New York? We broke the high of the London session. We then came back down again. We started retracing. So look, took out the high, took out the low. Took out the high, took out the low. Here, we didn't get an entry criteria. I'll show you what that is now in a second. So we wouldn't have actually entered along here. Here, we took out the high, took out the low. We took out three quarters of this range. So this still would have been a trade. Here again, look, Asian range, took out the low, took out the high. Took out the high in, uh, of London session and Asian session in New York session. And we're coming back down again. Do you see the concept? We're playing between the ranges. It's like, uh, again, the concept I think came from ICT Trader, but I learned this from some other person that was probably came from him. Um, again, not my concept. It's just I trade it based off of my criteria um, for entry. And we're just playing between the ranges. That's pretty much it. Um, now, as you, when you get more advanced, you can start picking take profits that are further away. So let's say, for instance, and again, I'm going to show you an example of one trade that I actually did which is this one right here. <laughs> so if we go into the five minute here, okay, I'll just show you an example, okay? So obviously, because I have a good understanding of market structure, you can see here are the ultimate lows. So this was the, the New York session, the Asian session, or sorry, Asian session, London session. My entry was right here, okay? Again, I'll show you the entry criteria in a second. And my my take profit was all the way down here at these lows, okay? Um, sorry, it was a bit higher, it was right here. And that was a trade we actually took inside the Discord community and it was a 4.3 hour trade. Again, I just roughly put it in. But I'll show you the criteria right now and I'll show you the rules. So the next indicator uh, indicator I want to show you is called Notes Smart Money Indicator. And what this does is it plots a little note thing on your chart and it has all your rules. Okay, so um, fairly, fairly easy. Here are the, the rules of the strategy, okay? So plot these on your chart, follow the rules, and I guarantee you, you will be profitable. I can guarantee it, okay? Um, so trading rules. We need a liquidity sweep of a previous higher low. Previous sessions higher low. We're trading in London. We need a liquidity sweep of the high and low of the Asian session. We are trading New York session. We need a liquidity sweep of the London higher low. Now, thing to note, if, let's see if I can find one here. Here we go. If London session did not break Asian highs, just be careful in New York session. If it does break, this is a very small break, which is surprising. Normally, if we break a high or low that hasn't been broken in the in the London session, so two at the same time, two session highs, 
usually the candle can be much bigger. Like no, I would I would normally expect it to be like that big instead, but it wasn't. But that's something to just keep into consideration. Okay, there's some nuances you will pick up as we get further along the line. So we need a liquidity sweep of a previous session high and low. We need a, a market structure shift, a market structure change, a break of structure, whatever you want to call it, on a five minute time frame. Okay, a full body of a candle has to break. Again, I'll show you that in a second. We target a previous higher low. We take partial take profits. Two or minimum is required for these trades. Um, if the range doesn't give you that, you move on. Um, extra notes. Trading in the direction of the overall trend. So if we go out to the daily, the trend is up. So if we get a long position, we know we could hold this a bit longer, okay? Again, that's a bit more advanced. I'll show you that towards the end. So watch all of this. Two to three trades minimum or maximum per day. That is it. So what you're looking for is if this fails and it goes pumps higher, let's say you enter here and it pumps higher, you have one more opportunity to try. If that fails, you stop. Two losing trades in a row, you're done for today. If you get a winning trade here, a losing trade, your next one, you've won more trade. If you lose the next one, you're done. If you win the next one, you're still done. Okay? No more than 1% risk per trade. Now, we have a dynamic risk structure inside our group, inside the Discord community that I teach. Might be something I do a video on in the future, but no more than 1% risk. Break even your trade after TP1 and do not take a trade if you are 30 minutes before market open. Okay? Or uh, a, a new session. Okay? I hope all that makes sense. Again, notes, smart money indicator. Here's all my settings. Just literally plop in all the stuff and it'll be on your chart. Now, what do you have? You have an indicator that tells you the high and lows when you should be taking a trade. You have the indicator that's also going to tell you when the market set, the new session starts. So you know when you should be looking for a trade. And you have your your set of rules. I can't, I've given you everything, okay? Um, as I said, the, the whole point of my Discord community, like I, I, I teach all this stuff and I try my best to uh, make people better traders. But we focus a lot on the psychology and taking the trades together. Okay, so if you are interested, you're like, okay, look, I, I, I like this sort of trading style, but I need a community around me that's going to trade the same thing and support the people that talk about mindset and all that sort of stuff. And I try and mentor people as much as I can. That's the reason why you would join that. All the education you want is free online. Never join a group for education. Or sorry, never join a group to learn a secret strategy. No, just I give away everything for free. The only thing you get when you come into my group is me helping you personally. You can take my trades personally, my signals, and that's what I want inside there, okay? So we pretty much, we, we, we're all set up now. We have all our stuff. We have our chart laid out. We have our rules. We have everything. We're done, okay? Now, how do, how do we actually take the trades? So let's start, like this is today's session. This is Asian. This is London. This is New York, okay? Very, very easy. So now, let's say we're starting off in this today. We're starting off. I'm going to actually turn off my rules because they're in my way and I know them. Um, here's my Asian session. Now, you're going to be looking for a trade in the first two to three hours of the London session. So London session opens at eight o'clock. You have two to three hours to get a trade. Well, technically speaking, you can take a trade half hour before each session starts. So look, this is going into the next session, one o'clock. So you can technically take a trade up to half, half 12. So you want the trade to sweep to happen within the first 30 minutes to an hour. But if it doesn't happen till later, you can still take the trade. But you just can't take a trade here half hour before one o'clock. All right. Because we're, we're looking for another sweep then. It wouldn't make sense. So Asian session. We came down. We came up. We broke the highs. Okay. Five minute time frame. We need to have a small bit of a consolidation. So what I don't want to see is this. I don't want to see one candle break. The next candle go down, okay, and the next candle go down. See the way this candle goes down here? I would normally like it to consolidate for a small bit, and then we would enter on, on the break, okay? So we broke these, sorry, we, we, we went up, we broke the high, we created a new candle, and then we closed underneath that candle, okay? So you can see here. That was your break. Again, these are this is a five minute time frame, remember. We're not looking for like we're just, we want to get into these plays in the with the momentum, okay? So candle broke above. This is your candle that broke above. The next candle went a bit higher, but then failed. And then the next candle closed above that but closed underneath that one. Your your little break was right here. Okay. We're looking for again, this is five minute. That's the confluence, that's the confirmation we need. We enter on the close of the candle that breaks. Okay, so see the body is underneath this one. If this body of the candle was up here, I wouldn't enter. This body has to close underneath this one. Again, now there's a caveat here. 
So if I can find one. Um yeah, so here kind of would be one, okay, look. So look, we broke the previous session low. The next candle closed above, okay. We need the next candle to close above as well. So technically speaking, our entry would be right here. Now, this actually would be a losing trade. Yeah, that would be a losing trade. So let's go back to this one now and just go through them all one at a time, okay? So again, this is London session. We broke the previous low. We would enter pretty much on a momentum here. Your stop loss is literally go to the bottom and then bring it up a little bit to account for spread. And then what you want to do is target the previous lows. Now, unfortunately, this barely, let's make it a little bit smaller, this barely gave us a two-hour trade. You can take it if you like, but you really want it to be a two-hour trade with a bit of space, okay? It is, a, again, this is technically within our rules, um, but, well, it's technically just outside of our rules, I mean. So if you want to be super strict, you wouldn't take this trade. But what you do is you target the previous lows slightly above. That's all. Previous lows, slightly above. Don't target the extreme lows. Um, what I do would take profits, okay? If the trade is under, uh, if it's under, if it's a 3R or over, so if it's close to 3R or over, I will have two take profits. If it's like 2.7 or 2.8 or and under, I just use one take profit. Where do you take your first take profit? Usually out of 1R. So 1R, take off 25% of the trade. If you're, again, with this trade, you would leave then the rest, 75%, run the maximum take profit. So again, if we took this trade, this would have been a win. But again, if we were being super strict, it wouldn't have been one. Now, you can see here, we did then come all the way down. Okay, we have already taken our trade. You can, if you're more experienced, take another trade here because we did break the lows. Um, but again, we want to be strict with ourselves. Let's wait till the next session. Next session starts. We had a big spike up. We came down. We broke the previous low. So again, we can enter right here. Target all the way down to the bottom. A little bit up. And that would be your entry. So we actually just missed it. Okay. We would be still in this trade. But this is a 3R trade. Okay. So again, go up to 1R. Take out 25% here. Okay. Then you need to ask yourself, Rob, where logically could be the next place we could find resistance? All right. Where's the next logical place? Okay. This is what we're seeing at the time. Okay, next logical place would be right here, wouldn't it? This is something that's completely subjective. So logically, that could be your next take profit. So take profit one, take profit two, another 25%. And then your last take profit is at the bottom a few pips before. So again, look, some days you probably, it's the amount of spread probably would have hit it anyway at that point. But that is what you would do again if you're, if you're just close to three or over. You would have two take profits. So again, what you're looking for is a break, another candle to form, okay, red candle, and another red candle to close underneath that, all right? That's all we're looking for. We can't, it won't work, let's say, if, uh, and again, and, and what, what what's good about this as well is if the risk reward isn't there, if the candles are too big, it'll keep us out of the play. So let's go keep going back and just see if we get anything that is, uh, so this is the next day. So, okay, so look, we came down, we broke to the upside, so this would have been an entry criteria right here. Okay, this one candle broke above one, two, three, three previous ones. This, it did break above this, but the body didn't break above. So your break is right there. But what did we say? A minimum of two RR, previous session high. It's 1.15. So we wouldn't have taken a trade. We would have been safe. Here again. Okay, we came down. We broke up. Okay. So here would have been our entry. So unfortunately, our first one would have been a fail. But remember, we get two opportunities. So we broke up. We broke down. So now look. Yep. Candle broke. One candle. We closed above. Okay. This is 15 minutes for our 15 minutes worth of price action. Okay. And then obviously that one failed. We started consolidating here. We didn't break above this consolidation. We then did look. There's your break. Above the consolidation, you enter on the next candle. Stop loss slightly above. Up to the top of the previous section, slightly below. It's a 2.5 hour trade. So you can see here it's a 2.4 hour trade. Remember, first TP, 
would be one hour, take off 25%. So 25% would have been taken off there and your stop loss would have been break even. So you would have been taken out of break even, okay? Um, remember this now is a, it's shy. So yeah, we would only have one take profit here. So we're hoping that one hour is going to be 25%, make the trade safe and then leave the rest run to your last take profit. If there's, so that would have been a, a, a loss and a win. So technically I don't know if you would have made profit there overall. You would have very small loss, I think. Um, <clears throat> let's go back a bit further. Here is another. So we have, this is Asian, this is London. We broke the Asian lows. We came up. Okay, so we came down one candle. We came up. All right, so this would be enough momentum for us. Now, normally, normally now we would want this to be broken with this candle. So it consolidated for a bit and then broke above up here, okay? Now, again, we need the body of the candle to close above. Now, I will still take the trade if it's on it. If it's if if this is what it looks like, okay? If if there was a gap like that, I wouldn't, but there's no gap, so I would still take that one. So your break would be right here, okay? Slightly above. Now I know the more you do this, the more you'll understand it. But sometimes people, like some people now would be like, okay, there's your break, okay? But because we had such massive momentum down, to be honest, you could have taken it there or you could have waited for it to break a little bit again. It's up to you how much confluence you actually want. But there would have been a better better opening. So that wouldn't have given us a two hour trade. So we actually wouldn't have taken it, which is a bummer because that would have worked out. Um, if we had entered down here, which is at our first entry, uh, technically speaking, well, technically speaking, if we were follow our rules, that's what we actually should have taken. So that would have actually been a trade. Um, one hour, there's your one hour, and then st stop loss to once you hit that. So it would have been hit right here. Your stop loss is at break even. Your next test profits up here. So it will work out to be 25% of the first one. Again, you're you obviously you're, you want bigger plays, but sometimes you don't always get them. Um, we broke the the highs of both sessions. We had a big impulse down. That's more than enough for me. Now sometimes when there's massive candles like this, it can get a bit unnerving to jump in. But look, we broke all these lows. It can pull back a little bit, but you know, we take it if we see it. Two point R trade. So first TP at a one R is right here. And then so that was hit here. We would have actually been taken out at break even right here with that massive spike up candle. That was at three o'clock, the market open, only for it to come down. But look, it doesn't always hit, and it sometimes it does hit. Um I'm gonna show you a trade that we did actually take. Um, do, do, do. actually funny enough I, we did take that trade but I remember we took this trade but I okay so these are the rules I'm giving you but when I do this personally just because I've traded this and I look for higher RR so I was actually targeting this down here. Now I know you're probably saying, Rob, that isn't part of the rules. I want you to just get used to this style of trading, okay? Sweep, sweep of liquidity, get in, get out, okay? Target the previous sessions. Now, because I did some top-down analysis, I realized that this is going down, okay? So I said to myself, right, I want this to be the ultimate high and I want to target the previous lows down here. We actually, this is the trade we took. That was the trade we took it was a 4.3 hour trade and my first take profit was actually down here okay again this is when you get more experience you can literally start looking for more rr okay again if you're inside the discord community you'll see how i just the only difference i trade i trade this exact strategy but the only difference is my tps are bigger i don't look for just a one r and get out but i want you to do that until you get comfortable with it OK, once you get comfortable with it, you can start opening up your your the, how much you want to get from each trade. But until you're profitable by doing this, this the rules that I've given you, don't open it up and look for more. OK, but that is the exact trade we took. So those are the exact strategies. OK, that's the exact strategy. We're literally we have our highs and lows. We wait for the low high to break. We wait for it to uh, reverse against us or sorry, uh, go in the direction we want. 
and we enter uh, on the volume on the opposite direction, okay? So the only thing that can kind of get a bit finicky with some people is that depending on how this break happens, sometimes the break can be big candle up and then a big candle down. But again, what normally keeps you out of that play is the fact the risk to reward isn't there. Again, look, we had our break up, we had a candle form and then we close underneath that candle. We had our structure, we had our shift to the downside. Some people might say, oh, it's a, you know, this is our pullback before we go higher. It, it could be, it 100% could be, but it could also be this. Same here again, pull up, pull down, next one, then we enter, okay? Again, same here, okay? We broke down, we came up, came up again, you enter in the next one, okay? So look, remember, you don't enter the first one, you enter the next one. That one closed above. Same here again. We had closed down, we had closed down, but nothing closed above, nothing closed above, nothing closed above, this finally closed above, then we enter. Risk reward wasn't there though. Again, here again. We came up, that candle closed down. Now, here's your exception, I suppose. So if one candle destroys like five candles in a row, that's enough momentum. That is that's enough of a shift. We broke one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lows. That is more than enough. Here again, look, broke to the downside, broke to the downside. This one candle engulfed the last one. It's more than enough to get in. So this is kind of the area that you need to practice. Again, what I want you to do anyway after this is uh, we have two back testing sessions that our link is going to be in the description. You can rewatch, you can watch them. Both are about an hour long. These are sessions that are inside my Discord community. Um, I'm building up a database for them to go back and look. But that's pretty much our five minute entry style, five minute liquidity sweep of previous session highs and lows. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. If you want to join our Discord community, of course you can um here's our discord community right here we have an entire kickstarter section if you want to get into the really knit and gritty in this section right here i go into a lot more detail um like how to spot like other liquidity stuff like so these are kind of like the, the stuff that you need to know afterwards okay so as you develop as a trader you'll realize that you probably realize as well that i didn't take anything into consideration to the left you don't necessarily you don't always have to do that okay but the more experienced you get, I will be taking into consideration those things for my my men, my my guys in my group. And as you develop this strategy, you will start be thinking to yourself, OK, I've got the strategy now down. How can I improve this strategy? You can improve this strategy by using things like supply and demand and other liquidity and equal highs and equal lows from previous sessions. So you can say here, look, for instance, here, look, we had this high that was taken out right here okay but in this situation i would have paid attention to this high as well all right and let's say if there was a a, a zone over here look there is a supply zone right here all right so for me placing this trade for the guys inside the community because i've evolved this a little bit more um i literally just take those things in as extra confluence i'll say to myself right guys we're in a downtrend we do have this liquidity here but if we break this london session highs be aware guys we also have this high over here do you get how i'm like evolving it a little bit and also i would have this demand zone or supply zone here or order block whatever you want to say and i'll say to the guys okay guys look we have a high here a high here and we have a supply here ideal scenario lads we'll come up we'll break two of these highs we'll bounce off this supply and then it will give us a five minute entry do you see how i've evolved that now a little bit but in saying that i didn't use this confluence when i was showing you the other stuff so you don't need to but it can improve the chances of the trade if you do have an understanding about supply and demand liquidity and other things like that but you don't necessarily also have to do it those things are extra confluences okay i don't have any tutorials on youtube about that i do on my youtube channel or sorry my my um my group if you go into kickstarter section click learn the strategy you'll see here look you'll see like i have strategies for for everything in, in with market liquidity and all these sort of things but what i've done in here is I've, I've i've condensed it down okay as much as i can you don't need to go onto my discord to learn those things you can learn all that stuff online as well but look if you do want i suppose a an easier environment a nice environment and everything in one really compact place you can join the discord we all trade the same strategy you have a strat you have a group there of like-minded adventurers we're all doing the same thing 
um as i said if you do want more information about the discord link is in the description you can join the free section and then if you click upgrade to premium i have a video in there that gives you a huge rundown of exactly everything you get inside the group and you know if it's for you or not so guys look i really hope that this will make you profitable i know it will if you follow these rules you follow everything i just said um and you just implement it and stay strict with yourself and you really manage your risk and your mindset properly you will be profitable is if you if if you trade outside of this or you trade more than you're supposed to it simply won't be profitable okay so guys look i hope you enjoyed the video that's what i've been trading for over a year now um uh, before that i was still trading the same entry criteria the only thing i've added is the the liquidity sweep of the highs and lows so guys that's a liquidity sweep play that's how we do it um and that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed the video leave me um any feedback in the bottom and as i said if you want to join our community and get signals my signals my exact trades you can join that community and we can win together thanks so much for watching and i'll talk to you soon